This is the Coronet Pop Top, the FS2. The judges are taking a look at it now. It's got a five year warranty. Will that be enough? I'm not sure, but let's see what they had to say. So Tim, what are the props for? Well, of course, Brooke, afterwards you're going to catch a fish, I'm going to go surfing, and <laughs> Laura's an alcoholic. I know what I'll be doing. <laughs> Happy hours pretty soon, but first of all, you've got to tell us about the Coronet FS2. All right, here I must. All right. So, this is the pop top from Coronet. Um, it's a little bit longer than some of the other pop tops we have on test, um, but it has one really special feature, which is a full width bathroom. Um, it's in the $30,000 to $50,000 category. It just scrapes in, $10 under the limit. Okay. Um, but it's there, and you know, that means it's, it's a really good value van with a full bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I was in there all along. Now, that's the bathroom that everybody's been talking about, Malcolm. It's a big one, isn't it? It is. Very, very large for a pop top, full width. And a very unusual arrangement up the top here. Yeah, now let's have a quick discussion about that because it looks almost industrial, doesn't it? It doesn't. <laughs> that would be a good word. It, it does. But it's actually very different because most, in fact, all pop top bathrooms I've ever seen have like a vinyl gusset just here. Yes. Instead, the uh, coronet have gone for a hard wall right across. So it totally separates the bathroom from the rest of the caravan. It, it does, because when I walked in, of course, I'm thinking, oh, that's so, that must be storage <laughs> or something like that. But then, of course, you realise oh, it's a pop top. Yes. So, Phil, what was the highlight for you? Um, aside from the bathroom, which obviously is quite clever, I like the way they've um, made use of the space. There's plenty of room. Yeah. Mm. And tap on the A-frame. You love a tap on the A-frame. Who doesn't <laughs> like Indeed. You Indeed. Know, if, if, and in fact, what is even better with this, it has an external shower. So if you not only can you just wash your feet on the tap, but if you want to have a shower, you've been on the, on the beach and you want to get all the sand off, just whip it out. Well, you're nice. ringing Brooke's I'm bell so because back. like she's coming <laughs> back from swimming and she's going. <laughs> Having a shower. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Max, it seems the people down at Coronet really care and are passionate about their product. Well, I, I know the um, the guy who owns the uh, Coronet name. Um, I've gotten to know him a little bit over the years, and uh, he is as passionate about caravans as I have ever seen from anybody. Uh, he lives and he breeds caravans, and uh, you know, to an extent, that's actually reflected in the product. Uh, the the uh, Coronet um, brand has been revamped for 2013. He's he's gone over everything with a fine tooth comb, and he's really trying to do something new and and different. And uh, this is uh, partially what uh, the, the result of uh, his labours, and uh, uh, you know, some of the internal features. I think. Uh, are, are, very much an update of what he had been building in the past and um, you know I, I think it's really come a long way and uh, you know it's, it's looking good. Well you're getting a lot of van but it, there's a lot of features in this van. There are a lot of features uh, you know and uh, you, there is one feature that's not included and that's a, um, a washing machine and that's not included for the price but what he has done is uh, he's making it so that instead of lifting up the bench to get to your, you know, your usual top loader, yeah. it's going to be, if you option the washing machine in, a unit that you can actually slide out. Oh, okay, so you don't have to go through the top of the bench, you slide well, the whole well, unit out. What it actually means in. is that you can clutter up the bench top as much as you want, nice. and you don't have to clean it off when it's time to do your washing. Nice. Right. So, you know, he, he thinks things through. Wow, because, well, look, you know, it's very breezy inside. Like, like these are big windows in the side of this van. They're, th they're certainly as big as what I think would be practical in, in a van of this, this yeah. height. And I guess the other good thing about a pop top is that the, the um, canvas gusset section um, you know, it has a series of windows in it, which is sort of fantastic for, you know, on a, on a summer evening, whatever, opening them up and getting that cross-flow ventilation, which is, um, you know, always a good uh, benefit of, of having a popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it hard to judge something that might be worth 32000 to 49000 It It um, puts things in a whole new context. Um, you know, yes, this one is worth close to 50000 but it has a series of features that you just won't get in a van worth 32000 uh, and so that's the sort of thinking that we have to apply to this entire sort of situation. Mm. I wouldn't want to be a judge. No, it's too hard. <laughs> it's too it's hard. too hard, Max. It's too hard. We're leaving it up to Max. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
Well, there you go. I'm proud to announce the Coronet FS2, the winner of the 30 to 50k pop tops category for best Aussie vans. This is a terrific pop top.